did I? I did it. <laughs> Strange encounters. I have a few for this one, actually. A couple. You have a few? I, I have two. No, I have three. Okay. You have three? We'll see if we get to the last one. That one might float away. Okay. Let's do two then. Do two. Dude, every time I hear it, I want to. I want to watch Knight Rider. You ever watch Knight Rider? <laughs> Knight Rider, man. Uh, what was it? Was that with a? Uh, uh, what's the actor's name? Oh, I was thinking of that Baywatch? song by Night Ranger. No, 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 no. Motor no, no. in. No, 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 never mind. Okay, just just tell me about your strange encounter. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. <laughs> what if we? What if we got sued for me singing that just now? It'd be amazing. Uh, anyway, can we use it under fair use? Educational? We're yeah, we're teaching houses. people we're about teaching. Night Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> there was this band in the eighties. Anyway, um, it was or seventies could even be. I don't know. Anyway, um, so last night I was at yeah. uh, an open mic in Austin at as one does. <laughs> yeah. At uh, we we you haven't been to this one. It's uh, it's on Sixth Street. It's a place called Shakespeare's. Um, it's right in the heart of Dirty Sixth, and there's an open mic that's primarily comedians, but the host really likes it when musicians come. And so there were about sixty comedians on the list, and I went, and she just puts you kind of like next or whatever. She gets the the musicians all up there. Yeah, to break it up. It's probably exactly. a lot of bad comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like you can show up and there's a list of 60 and you can get on like as soon as you get there. Why so haven't we gone there? We we Cuz actually I I didn't know I didn't in crowd. I didn't know about it. But yeah, we next time Cuz that other time place, that other brewery we did that was all comedians pretty much. It was mostly all yep. comedians. Mm -hmm. And they were into it. They're like, "Oh, it's music." Yeah. No, it was fun. Next time you're out on a, on a Monday, we'll go. Oh, it's a Monday. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you're out there. You're jamming the open mic. What happens? Yeah. So um, it isn't even an encounter. That's why I didn't know whether to put it under this list. Mm. But it was a fascinating stand-up set. Fascinating. Yeah. So it was a, um, a, a young woman came up. Okay. And... Um, she started off by talking about how, isn't it funny that we've all just accepted totalitarianism into our lives? <laughs> I actually like her set already. Yeah, Go it's ahead. amazing. She keeps going. She's like, you know what's, you know what's great? They convinced us all to imprison ourselves, and we just did it. And we imprisoned ourselves outside by putting masks on. And then we imprisoned ourselves in our own houses, willingly. And we just said, okay. And she's like, isn't that funny? Ha, 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 ha. And then she was commenting because a previous comedian had been shitting on people who are into astrology as being idiots. And she was like, they can joke about astrology, but do you know who fucks with astrology? Elon Musk. Do you know what month it is? Do you know where Pisces is? And do you know where Venus and Jupiter are, are in alignment? And that's when he chooses to buy Twitter. You don't think that Elon Musk fucks with astrology? And like, she was like, every billionaire in the world fucks with astrology because they know what's up. Interesting. It was, it was so challenging. And then she was like, you know what I think? I think Elon Musk is an alien of this particular race who is here specifically to get us to mine gold and blah, like it was just like, she just like went for it. Nice. Oh man. I would love And she was this. like, and she's like, there's 43 laws of power and anybody who fucks with any of those 43 laws of power knows what's up and knows how to control people. And did she listen to the 43? No, she didn't. But she said that Elon Musk was engaging in them and that he's basically jizzing all over space with his dick rockets because he knows what power is and he knows how to wield power. Wow. Wow. And then See, she's like, and you guys just you, love man. totalitarianism and you just this... fucking accept it and you're taking his jizz all over your face. Wow. That's um. And she was oh, like, I don't know how to make any of this funny, but I think it's true. And she just left. <laughs> so this was more of a, of a beatnik than a, than a comedian. I don't know. I loved it though. I was like, woo. Big cheers for me. Were you laughing? And then did you go up right after a her? A little bit. 
Not right after, no. Oh. But it was great. I it was what I was actually surprised by is how much the crowd was eating it up. Did you get her contact? Her name? No, I'm trying to i I've been trying to find her on Instagram. Because she would actually be a funny one to like do on our break when we're doing a gig. It'd actually be yeah. kind of funny. <laughs> absolutely i mean i think it'd be cool to even like talk to her on the podcast even if you even if you're not into what she's saying Mm -hmm. this is what i appreciate is like that level of challenging to some people that'd be absurdity right i could think that that's absurd Uh but it's again when it gets to that level then you're actually confronted and it's like wait 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 that's what was so exciting to me i have no idea if i agree Whoa, hold, hold on right and that's like uh I don't think destabilizing just for the sake of it is necessarily healthy. Right. But I also think it's good to kick the tires. You know, if the foundation isn't solid, you shouldn't be in that building, you know? Yeah. So we shouldn't be scared of that. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Dude, how did you not get her number? I... <laughs> we got to get her on a show. Yeah, I agree. Because we could have her come up and do her little rant and we could do free improv behind her. Hmm. See, I did. I know. See, I already sold you on it. You got to find out who this person is. Yeah. Call okay. the club. She has to be a regular. Someone else has to know who that is. The 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 host knows her. Joyce knows her. So I'll... so hit up Joyce and be like, yeah. dude, who who was that person? We got to collaborate on. So because I'm just fascinated by someone that contrary, man. Absolutely. It's like so the, it sounds like a like like personality of sandpaper. You know. Yeah. Well, it, it's course grade. The the, the <laughs> aliens the aliens mining gold one is crazy. It hits so close to home because my dad used to talk about that. Uh, I, I, should heard... be, I should be yeah, careful yeah, yeah. about not being too personal with family stuff, but uh, I'm aware of the the theory. No, that but I've we heard have that been too. put here by aliens to mine gold, and it's interesting that it's gold. Like it, the gold part always struck me as a weird aspect of it. Is why does anybody care about gold? What what's so special well, I, about I, gold? I, I, there's that. There's also the aspect of it, like if you're an intelligent life form, then why would you have someone else do it right. and not just do it yourself? Because you could probably do it way faster. Maybe right. they're busy. Maybe they're really busy. It's but, true, I mean, but I don't we, we don't get we don't get monkeys to do things like that for us. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> what well, once yeah. Musky gets all the brain chips going, dude? Yeah. Do you know how strong an orangutan is, dude? Incredible dude, I was I was strong. watching that video again today of the orangutan driving around the zoo. Isn't that the best thing it's, ever, man? It's one of the best videos I've ever seen. Just like what and he's like just looking around and he turns, turns left, like Yeah, he's all sloppy on the wheel. <laughs> just cruising, dude. I know. It's, it, it's probably one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah. It's pretty great. Well, that's a good encounter. That's a good encounter. It and is. it's more strange, not because it was like with you directly, yeah. but someone doing that in public. I know. That's like it's a bit of a like the of a of a like a uh, of a like a profit move. Yeah, you know to say like outcast me. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Woo! A voice cries in the wilderness. Yeah, it was but great. not wilderness. It was downtown Austin. <laughs> <laughs> a On different 36. sort of wilderness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still it's still a wasteland there. Let's be let's be <laughs> real about it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah well i had another one you have another we, one we, we talked about that we texted about this one briefly oh so uh, so this one this one also segues into the uh into a gig fail then it does but that's a third they're, they're all different what you have enough oh okay okay fine 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 i yeah, see yeah. i see yeah yeah so the other interesting encounter and this one i'm of two minds about i don't quite know how i feel about it Mm-hmm. Um, I was at the Friends Bar Blues Jam, also on Sixth Street, uh, just a block down from Shakespeare's. Um, every Sunday they have a Blues Jam, and uh, I went up on stage, and I often play Lullaby at these jams because mm-hmm. it's a fun song, and the crowds love it, and everybody's dancing. It goes over well. Mm-hmm. It does. It goes over very well, and it's pretty easy, I think. Because the way I do it is I, I skip the bridge, which anybody who has seen us live, they've heard this song, definitely. Um, the bridge isn't hard, but it just has more chords in it. So basically, the only thing I'm playing is a B-flat minor chord, and then there's a turnaround that has three chords in it. B-flat minor, G-flat major, and F minor. Mm-hmm. And if you're playing bass and you're keeping it simple, you, that, that spans two frets. Yes. You can just go B flat, first fret, G flat, second fret, <laughs> F first fret. 
If you really, if you want to be totally simple, you could do that. You okay. could totally get away with that, right? I'm with you. Yeah. So I explain this to him, and I see this, like, he's, like, pissed in his eyes. This is the bass player. At, at Uh-oh. The now, this is, not, this is not the house bass player or anything. It's not Craig. Craig Kearse. He's a very good bass player. He was a guest bass player. I think he's somebody in town. I don't know who he is. He plays with somebody big on 6th Street. Or so the, the vibe in the crowd was. Okay. Um, which is why I was a little surprised by this, because this doesn't strike me as out of the realm of possibility for basically any bass player. Okay. Okay. Right. <clears throat> and then he was like, I, I just do blues shuffles. I know three chords. And I was like, well, good thing it's only three chords. Did you tell him the chords before you started? I did. I did tell him the chords. But he was, like, confused by that. It was uh-huh. very strange. There was a keys player, Alex, who we've played with, who was fucking killing it. He was like, oh, that song. Yeah, I remember that one. And Hunter, walk up, was on stage with me, fucking, like, slaying the song. Everybody else killing it. Joel Turk out on drums. But he was, like, scared of this song. And then after this song, I called another song called Street People, which just goes E-A-E. That is it. That's all it does. Mm. Mm. Even simpler. Not a shuffle, though. Kind of like a... Kind of like a groovy like okay. jam band okay. vibe, almost. Sure, sure. That, he, he was like, I, please, please, blues shuffle. And then, and then they asked me to do another one. And so I was like, okay, 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 I'll do a BB King, whatever. Because like I didn't, I didn't pick up from him until that last time, like how serious he was that he only wanted to play shuffle blues. Wow. He likes what he likes. Really, huh? <laughs> it was really weird. He was like, please, 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 just, just shuffle blues. That's all. I, I don't, I only know that. And I talked to him afterwards, and he was like, I never learned a fourth chord. And he's, but he's a player. Yeah. That's, I'm a little confused by that. Doesn't he listen to other, other music? Right. So like when you were asking, when we were texting and you were asking me like, is, is he just a purist? I think the answer to that is yes. And so like, there's a certain, there's a certain amount I can be like, okay, you don't play these other things, but like the inflexibility and like the, like a little bit pissiness was like Mm -hmm. bothering me a little bit too. That's wild. Like he wasn't singing a song and he wasn't calling a tune either. He was at a jam. So it's also on everybody to be a little flexible at a jam. I would think so. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. And you told him before. I told him the chords. I played the groove for him. Like I I didn't surprise him at all. That's the thing is like, if you play, if you just play the, uh, if you if you just say B flat, uh-huh. G flat, and F, yeah, right. Even if you don't know all these chords, you can just play the root. If you like, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like what he's ever played a blues in B flat or G flat. Like how's that hard to understand? I don't know. Well, he's never played a six chord before. But there's something odd. And I mean. But the we, lullaby, we get, it's a, we, do you get it's all it's almost a shuffle. It is a shuffle, right? In a way. Right? I would say so. Shuffle. I mean it's it's at least close. Like I think of it in in a two feel, like with it's like a like a two. Right, but but the, the melody who duck a duck a duck a duck a duck. Yeah, it's totally swung. Yeah. 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 I don't know, man. That's a little that's a little zany. Well, as a bass player, what do you think? I don't. I I think it's weird for my <laughs> weird. for my level of experience, right? Even yeah. when I was much more novice, if someone said B flat, G flat, F, like I knew what those notes were, right? Within, like I don't know. Now the the one I'm thing I have playing. encountered out here is that people don't know the like the quote proper naming, and so they would call it an F sharp rather than a G flat. So they'd sure, say but that's they'd fine. say B flat F sharp B flat F and whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it, it, it like it annoys me a little bit, <laughs> but it but that's that's me. That's I guess that's more like bronze class thing annoying. That, that, that's yeah yeah yeah. It is. It's pretty bronzy of you. Um, it is. Like it doesn't really matter. I know. 
That's yeah, that's I don't know. I don't even know what to think about that because I was self-taught when I was young. Right. Right. I didn't take lessons, uh bass lessons until college. So when I was well, when I was probably 13 or 14 when I started playing at church when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I knew the names of all the names of the notes on the fretboard, you know, within mm-hmm. like a few weeks. It's not that I would always put my finger in the right place, but I would figure out like, oh, this is where that note yeah. is. So I don't understand how someone who's been playing for a long time, like just wouldn't know. I mean, unless like, does he only play by ear? And I, that's where it's like, I like don't, I, plays... he doesn't read. He definitely doesn't know the names of notes. So maybe, maybe that's why he's like, oh, I only do one, four and five. Because I heard him play a shuffle blues <clears throat> later, and he was playing licks. But maybe he just knows it by shape. And exactly, he was like boo do 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 do. Like he was doing like licks. Interesting. So you you took the the big shot, that's good at what he does, and you put him into something else. He was like, like pissed anything. at me. Like when I talked to him afterwards, he was not friendly with me about it. Because I was like, wow. oh hey man, thanks for playing with me, and like he was like I. I, I only know shuffle blues. I never learned a, a fourth chord and just like walked away. Wow. Well, you made another friend, Anthony. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> You're good at making friends. Uh, <laughs> who would have thought a flat six chord would ruin a relationship? You know, it doesn't take much sometimes. <laughs> the straw that broke the camel's oh, back. Oh, man. That's pretty good. If I'm being if I'm being like oversensitive about it, I feel like when I did call the BB King tune after I heard him play later, I was like, oh, he wasn't even like playing on that. Mm. Like he was he was like, fuck this guy. Maybe because like he was Maybe. like when I, where I remember I played the BB King tune. And I was like, man, I need a little bass on this. Right. Sorry, I just had to make sure my dog wasn't here. Yeah. I didn't want to roll over. He moved, though. I moved yeah. my chair back and they thought yeah, of his tail. Yeah, that's weird. He was holding back on you. Oh maybe. well, what are you? Gonna maybe do? I'm he's being like, sensitive though. I don't he know. He sounds kind of grumpy. Yeah, I mean, there's grumpy people. That's okay. He's grumpy. Yeah. All right. 